Hello, here is a quick tip on how to get a smooth finish on the edges when profiling different things. Let's say I want to profile this interesting shape out of hardwood. Well, since I am milling hardwood, I will have to advance with the half of the tool bit step down. So since this piece is 20 millimeters high and I use 3 millimeters step down, it will have a lot of layers. For each layer, there's a possibility there will be a small line left from the cutter head. And of course I can send them out, but I prefer to use a method which takes a little bit more time on the CNC, but leaves a much smoother finish. So let's first create the job. Select the body, click on the new job button. If you've seen my last tip, you can use a template, otherwise just click OK and make the job from start. This part is not what I'm going to talk about. You can watch the video about setting up a new job if you're not sure how to do this. I'll just click OK. I have a new job with a 6mm end mill. I have an experimental version of FreeCAD, that's why sometimes there are a lot of errors in the report view. And now I want to create a profiling for this shape. I'll just go to the job, click on profile. Here you see I have no geometry selected because on the profile operation, if there's no geometry selected, it will default profile the entire body. So I'll click apply. You can see I have my job ready. I can click OK, export the file, go to the CNC and it will cut this shape. For each layer, there will be a little line and I'll have a lot of sanding to do so what I want to do is go to the operation tab and set an extra offset of 0.1 millimeters. And when I click apply, you can see it actually moving outside of the body a little bit. This means that my piece will be a little bigger. I'll just close this operation, select it from the list in the job and then click on this button which is copy the operation in the job. You see it created another profile 001. I'll just hide, not disable, hide the first one and it will be an exact copy of the first operation. So what I want to do, I want to get the final size of this shape exactly as it should be. So I go to the extra offset value, change it to zero, click on apply and you can see it actually shrinks and my piece will have the final dimensions as I want it. But I still have a lot of layers because it's just a 0.1 millimeters cut out because I've already cut the entire piece using my other operation. I can go to the depth tab to the step down and I will actually hand write the value that represents the maximum cutting height of my tool bit, which in my case is 25 millimeters. Click on apply and this will result in just a single pass. The whole height of the cutter head will be engaged on the piece and this will leave a very smooth finish. Well, almost because the operation is set clockwise. My spindle also rotates clockwise. So this will result in a climb cut, which will leave some small ridges on the face depending on the quality and on the rigidity of my machine. So what I want to do to make sure that the finish is as smooth as possible, I go to the direction value and change it to counterclockwise. Depending on the way your machine is cutting clockwise or counterclockwise, you have to set the direction the opposite way. This will always result in a conventional cut. Now I can press space to show my first operation too. And I can go to the job, export the file, move to the CNC and after cutting it will make another pass using a 0.1 millimeters cut. It will just cut from the sides a 0.1 millimeters with a whole cutter head engaged on the sides. Of course, if I had a higher pad, higher than the length of my cutter head, let's say a 40 millimeters, I actually have to open and close it. You can see now there are two passes, but anyway, it's much better than the first operation, which has a lot, a lot of passes. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time for the next tip or trick about FreeCAD Come.